it's a great honor to talk to someone from the Kish family. So, and you're sort of taking on the, uh, the, the heritage of your family, taking charge of a, a new part of the company or, or an existing part of the company, as I understand. Can you tell me what your involvement is with the company now? Sure. So I'm currently heading Latin America, so Mexico down to Chile, Argentina. We've been in Latin America for almost, or well, actually more than 20 years. So uh, one of our core businesses at CAPTCH is tolling and multi-lane free flow. And actually Chile was the second project we ever did. I mean, we actually have projects in the Middle East as well. And we are always looking for, uh, well, new countries and regions of the world to grow in. We are already present in around 50 countries, actually. But even in Latin America, we are constantly expanding. Actually, just about a year ago, we expanded into different countries, such as Guatemala, for example, uh, where we want projects in tolling as well as urban traffic management. So we do see this, uh, these other countries outside of the, let's say, traditional markets like US and, and Europe as very, very important to the company. And what are the new, you've got new products here at, on the booth. And what, are the, what are the new things that you're showcasing uh, this week and uh, into the future? So one of the biggest news we have with this big new release we have is our Illumion um, transponder or onboard unit, which from size and everything looks like a traditional onboard unit. But the big difference is that it works with a um, with ambient lights, not even with solar light, but with ambient light. Meaning, it has a rechargeable battery, which can be re well, which can be powered through, let's say, light in your car or uh, any minimum source of light. Meaning, the battery life of that transponder is extended making it a more sustainable solution. Interesting, but the main application is tolling. Mm -hmm. Of course, it can be integrated if needed with other functionalities, such as maybe parking, for example. Right. And I know you're doing a, a, a pilot project in, in Ireland as well, which uh, I will uh, talk to one of your colleagues a little bit more about. Exactly. Well, more than a pilot project, it's a very big project. Yeah. It's, uh, well, almost nationwide um, CITS project that I think incorporates even the Dublin ring, it incorporates uh, Cork as well, so it is uh, interconnected and uh, well brings various benefits. For example, it brings um, automation into normally human, human done tasks, uh, making it uh, more efficient and increasing safety potential. Uh, and it also has a, the contract has a, a you know, annual clause for constant innovation, showing that, you know, there's a lot of interest to improve uh, connectivity and mobility in, well, all around the world and especially in this case in Ireland. The takeaway for me with the TII project is that we have, we have a provider in cash and we have and we have a customer, a client in TII who've got an appetite for innovation. There are mechanisms within that contract to say, do you know what? Today we don't really know where we're going to take the NIM system. We know that it's we know that it's a great platform, we know that it's delivering on what the customer expects of it today. But tomorrow things are undoubtedly going to be different. So there are mechanisms within that to say both obligations on catch as an innovator and obligations on TII to really start to develop the innovation within that. So we can so the NIMS platform might look very, very different in five years compared to what it does in terms of contractually right now. Absolutely. And, and on the technical hardware side of it, what does NIMS actually consist of? So we are principally a software, software. provider. So, but, but what I would say about hardware is there is a huge requirement on us to interface. Clearly, we did not walk into a greenfield site here. Yeah. There is lots and lots of kit out there. So a big part of the contract deliverable is understanding the kit that's on it and the architecture that's already there and interfacing into that. That is not a five-second job. So, you know, you really need to you, I think I think a big message out of this is that you really need to be working with a provider who understand where all these things are. This kind of client or these kind of clients are crucial for us, as I said, with pilots, with POCs, with just this energy and motivation to try new things and uh, see how can we how can we incorporate these new uh, traffic management technologies, connected vehicle technologies into projects to increase safety, increase efficiency, reduce emissions, and in that sense really improve the overall traffic situation uh, wherever our clients are.